Good afternoon. My name is Andrei Kilkamp. I'm from the University of Notre Dame and I will present an analysis of one to first matching in iris recognition. As most of you uh, would probably know, iris recognition is already a, a well-established uh, technology and it has uh, been growing in popularity and in coverage. Some examples of this are the Nexus uh, program for border crossing in Canada or the voter registration in Somaliland and of course the ADAR program uh, in India which has now over 900 million people enrolled. The traditional and most intuitive way to uh, look for a person in, a, in an iris recognition system is to scan the entire database uh, and, and in the end you get the, the best match. The problem with this approach is that uh, with larger systems uh, the search time is also longer. So an alternative approach that has been used for some, uh, in, in some cases is to scan the database until you find the first match below a certain threshold. This method is called uh, one to first. And the problem with this method is that you will get, uh, not always get the best match and even sometimes you can get a false match. So the reduction in the search time can harm the accuracy of the system. So we wanted to answer how accurate is uh, one to first matching. And for that we used a database of over 50,000 images with uh, various uh, threshold values and a range of gallery sizes uh, using the iris B matcher. Well, these are some of the results and you can see here the false match rate for 1 to 1st is quite larger than 1 to N, especially when we increase the size of the galleries. If we look at the matching accuracy curves, uh, we can see this weird looking uh, ROC curve for 1 to 1st. Uh, the difference is quite obvious, especially if we look at the plots using the same scale. So, in conclusion, uh, the accuracy for 1 to 1st is not as good as 1 to N, and the effects uh, are accentuated by the threshold permissiveness, the size of the enrollment galleries, uh, and the rotation tolerance that is used for matching. And it is uh, our opinion that uh, deployments of this technology should be uh, aware and should take into account the trade-off that exists between the search speed and the accuracy of the system. So if you are interested in more details uh, or you want to check out those weird-looking ROC curves, please come and see poster A15.